Hot Target Gamer here, and today I am back with another story time video. And in the background, it was my first game back to multiplayer in like a week or so. I've I've been playing Grand Theft Auto a lot, and I chose to do this because in this video I did really good, and as I say that I died, but uh, I ended up going 33 and 10, surprisingly. So that I'm just gonna put it in here. So, anyways, if my mic cuts out, I'm sorry. I'm using the one that cuts out because it puts out better audio, but whatever. So, hopefully it won't cut out for this video. And let me get started. So, it's another uh, story time with Rome. And as you guys saw in the last one, it's just I tell a story from my, like, life, I guess. I don't know what you guys want to call it. So, anyways, let's get right into it. So this is i call it the water bottle incident and my friend asked for this and so i'm gonna i'm gonna i guess tell you guys about it so it was with my band my old band and we were like a punk and metal band kind of yeah but we didn't really go anywhere with that but that's that's a different that's a whole different story <clears throat> anyways so one day it was my band which was me my friend nick my f and my friend Sam and then my friend Cole was there and my friend Cody was there and so it was six of us and well five of us not including myself and uh, we were at my friend Sam's house and he was the drummer and stuff and his dad was home so we weren't doing band practice or anything it was just us hanging out and uh, we got the bright idea to get a water bottle and we poked a hole in the top and we put a, a needle in there for a like air pump to air up your your uh like footballs and stuff your tires for your bike and yeah so we would hold the ball i mean not the ball we would hold the bottle and we would air it up we would all take turns it was kind of like a like a roulette kind of game and uh it just we just kept on and kept on and kept on and the water bottle this is like a small little water bottle like one of those plastic ones um like the aquafina kind of things and we just kept on and kept on and kept on and soon it got like really big the bottle expanded like a balloon and it was it was pretty crazy and uh <clears throat> so we kept on and of course when i was holding the water bottle they kept on and kept on and finally it just blew up the water bottle just exploded and it was so loud it was like a gunshot like I'm not even kidding you could ask any of my friends if you want uh, like I don't know if you guys want me to I'll get them to prove it but um anyways it was like a gunshot it was like really really loud and I'm surprised no cops came like a cop did come but he didn't have his sirens on or anything. He just came around the block like a minute after we did that. And then also the homeowners association came. And the homeowners association is basically these people who like make sure you're not like you're keeping your yard clean and stuff. And they came over here and they checked out the whole situation. And it was it was pretty loud, guys. It was crazy. And then another thing that ha well, two things happened that day. So uh or well three things not three things including the water bottle incident but uh that well that's what me and my friends like to call it but so my friend cody and my friend nick they did not like each other and somehow they ended up getting in a little brawl like it, it wasn't bad or anything it was broken up in like two minutes not even two minutes like a minute they they started going at it. I don't know why, but they it wasn't crazy or anything. And uh, yeah, they just started going at it, fighting. But it wasn't even bad. Like they weren't really fighting. I guess they were just like pushing each other around. But uh, w the last thing that happened that day was my friend Nick. He we we did a prank call, and I don't remember where we prank called. But we prank called a store. I think it might have been Spencer's, which is like this place where you get, basically, you guys are gonna hate me for saying this, but like an emo store. I, that's what I would call it. I don't go in there. 
even though a lot of you guys are like, you're emo, I'm not emo, shut up. Um, anyways, we prank called that store, and he, he did star 67, which would make your phone number appear private, and even though he did that, they were like, is this Nick, I'm, I'm not going to say his last name, but they were like, is this Nick, and then they said his address, and he just was like, nope, and just ended it, and they said his address exactly, they said his name, they even said his carrier for who you, like, he was with for his phone, like, his phone service, like, T-Mobile, and, uh, it, it was pretty crazy, he just ran home, and, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys one more thing that happened that day, I, I know I said there was only three things that happened, but now that I'm thinking about it, this it wasn't really a big thing, but it was just really odd, because that whole day, it wasn't, like, hot or anything, it was, uh, I mean, it wasn't, like, cold or anything, there wasn't clouds out, it was summer, and it, uh, like, out of nowhere, right after we prank called Nick on Nick's phone, he, uh, like, he, so he ran home, and then, like, five minutes later, it just started pouring, 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 raining nonstop, and it, I live in New Mexico, it doesn't rain a lot here, and this was just out of nowhere, it just started pouring and I was like dang but uh that's that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and uh my last one did good hopefully this one will do good too and I'm no pro at this game so I screwed up a lot as you guys could see but it was a very good game I got a wraith I also got two HDXDs I think they're called and then one hellstorm I believe yeah I think it's a hellstorm I don't know but, yeah, so I decided to put that in there. I just did it, like, two minutes ago. Or not two minutes ago, obviously, because I re started recording, like, two minutes ago. I, like, filmed this about 15 minutes ago. And it was my first game back, and I did really good. I don't usually do that good, because I suck at this game, as you guys probably know, because you see my videos. But, uh, let me tell you a little about what's happening in the near future so July 12th DLC is releasing for Black Ops 3 and the crew aka well that's what we call ourselves uh, we're gonna be doing videos on that and hopefully like find the Easter egg for zombies because that's what we like to try and get but we probably won't we'll no J456 will probably get it before us like always but I mean I don't care at least you're like everybody's having fun with it so uh, I'll be making videos on that. I will also be making videos on GTA and maybe Pro Series because I've heard a few of you say you guys want to see me do Pro Series. Um, I don't know. Like me and my friends do good at Pro Series. It's just very stressful and I don't know if I'll record it because how restre how stressful it gets. But thank you guys for watching. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys really help me with like just boost my confidence and stuff. And hopefully we could get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year. I don't know if we can or we can't. It's up to you guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.